Hey everybody, this is Dave's Acrylic Pouring. Um, I'm Dave, and we're going to uh, do a buried colander pour again today. I had a request to recreate this one. Um, this is a 16 by 20, um, but the person wanted a smaller one, so we're going with a 10 by 20 on this one. Okay. Um, so it's going to be the same, same kind of colors and everything. I'm just going to have to recreate what I've got there just on a smaller portion. So that's what I'm trying to do. All right, let me turn you down here, and we'll get going. Okay, um, I've got my Master's Touch Violet um, is what I've been using um, to mix, and I mixed uh, some Payne's Gray to make it a little darker. Um, all these are uh, custom colors here that I've made from uh, using white and uh, my uh, violet. The white was the Artist Loft uh, white. And then I've got a couple of pre-mixed ones that I'm going to use in here from Master's Touch. This is Amethyst and this is uh, Lilac Petals. Alright, so we want to layer our cup first. Just like we're going to do a dirty pour or a uh, ring pour, I mean. You want to pour it on the side of the glass to get your layers properly. Because if you just pour straight in, they'll kind of uh, mix in different. Uh, thicknesses and, and different uh, volume areas inside that cup. Skip the white on this one. I don't want to have a whole lot of white in there. Thing that you have to remember about mixing paints like this in a cup, uh, uh, another reason why we pour it on the side is because different uh, paints have different consistencies. Now this is mainly the same paint just with uh, white added to it. So in this aspect it doesn't make that much of a difference, but usually uh, if you're adding different colors and whatever, the pigments are heavier on some uh, than they are on the others, so they will sink or float um, in your cup. So you want to try to minimize that by pouring it right to the side.
as you can see, we got good rings in here, and that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to set that out to the side, move my cups, close my lids. Berry colander pour because it's a colander pour, but um, this is what we, what they call a uh, berry colander. It's for rinsing berries, so it's a smaller colander, and that's the only reason that it's, uh, it's called berry colander pour. So, in case you were wondering, all right. So I set the uh, colander right in the middle, and then I'm going to go to the edge that I poured on on this side, and that's where I'm going to start. And I'm going to start pouring it right in the center and you're going to do just like a ring pour you're going to go in a uh, circle like this you can go whichever direction you want doesn't matter but just pour it in and it will do its own thing you don't have to mess with it right now
out a little bit. closer look Alright. 